Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're deer hunting in Alabama. It's opening day, General Gun. It's just cracking daylight. It's nice and cold. And a little foggy. Birds just started singing, so hopefully we see something. Y'all stay tuned. So we were set up. It's an old catch pen right here on the farm. <coughs> and where we're watching is making this a good spot. This is board are open. We were watching right there in that cut. That power line. That trail over there. Come right through that cut. Always a hundred yards. That's about the farthest I'm gonna shoot. Instead of normal stand over by the food plot, it's because of the wind direction. That stand is set up for prevailing north of northwest, north of northwest wind, and today it is east northeast. So that would have definitely wouldn't have worked. That'd have been blowing my scent right out across the food plot. So we come over here to this. Uh, Catch pin and we're watching the crossing area. You see the sun's just starting to break up top of the trees and the fog is finally starting to lift. I can see it a little better. But uh, I don't know how that's going to work. So hopefully we see something. Alright, so we didn't see anything at the other stand close up. So we eased over here using the edges of the woods to a different little stand over there. Food plot. Back there's the edge of the property. Right over there's the edge of the property. So we got some nice shooting lanes here. We have a feeder. So at this point in the morning, I figured it couldn't hurt. That's what 30-06 sounds like. That one hit low to the left, I mean to the right. 
The other one's loaded left. No doubt, that one's loaded to right. And that other one is... It's... <laughs> There you go. Camp breakfast. Cooked on uh, cast iron and coals. Okay, I just deglazed my pan and cleaned it with a little bit. Hey, cleaned it with a little bit of water. Got the little stuck on bits from the sausage and stuff out. Wiped it with olive oil. Put it back over the fire and leave it alone. Go eat. Yeah, so I know we're really roughing it this weekend uh, out here at hunting camp. Uh, this hunting camp, uh, two, not actually out on the property. This is where we get to stay. Uh, it's all right. As you can see, no matter where you go camping, you can still do great, great food on your cast iron and Dutch ovens. So we're all finished with breakfast now, so I just got to uh, re -oil that new cast iron, flipped it up, up upside down uh, over what coals are doing there. So when I pull that thing back out lunchtime, it's going to have nice seasoning on it. It's going to get better every time I use it. I just bought this one right here in town. It's a generic three-notch lodge, old one, smooth bottom, just like the one we just gave away to uh, one of our patrons. And I'll be announcing that uh, coming video also. So one of my last videos I was talking about, uh, you know, the standard camp grill. If you didn't understand what I'm talking to, you know, you, about now you probably uh, know because every campground in America has one of these. The one thing that I don't like about this one, which some of them have, uh, an opening here the top and the front so you can actually pull that grill up and flip it back this one's pain in the butt to get your charcoal under there because you're, you're having to take your chimney my chimney right here to get your charcoal under there you gotta you gotta do try to toss it under there and it ends up getting on the ground 
burning leaves and everything else so it's a pain in the butt to get it up under there so yeah not as uh, good as the ones that have the open top where you can pull the grill all the way up to the top notch and then you can actually turn it backwards but it worked so y'all are probably saying hey you got that big fancy camper over there. I'm sure it's got a stove and oven in it and you are right it is very comfortable um, and my answer is because I like doing this and it's fun it, it's really fun to know you can come out here and take this old little camp grill here a couple pieces of cast iron throw you some biscuits in there whatever you want to make and you can do it out here um, if you could do it here in a you know nice modern campground and a nice modern camper then you can do it anywhere and you know you have your friends over or whatever that they, they'd be pretty impressed that you could cook such, cook such a great meal uh, right out here just using the grill like the old days you know and I'll always pull back to the old days <music> Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right over there. If you want to see our last video, check it out right up here. And for a whole playlist, cast iron Dutch oven cooking, just click it right up here. We'll see you next time.